Okay guys, in doing scale drawing there are some materials that you will need. First of all, you're going to need a picture, you're going to need your pencil with your eraser and your ruler. Now you're going to use your ruler to help you in creating a grid. Now my grid space that I'll be creating here would be 1 inches apart. So I'm going to use my ruler to measure that accordingly. After I have done that on the top of the picture, I'm going to move the ruler down to the bottom of the picture and do the same thing once more. So place your ruler, the first line of your ruler to the corner of your picture and then measure your one inch grid spaces apart. When you're through, you're going to take your ruler and now connect your dots. So the dot that is at the top of the picture, you're going to connect that with the dot at the bottom of the picture. This will help you to create straight vertical lines for your grid. Now that you're finished with your vertical lines, you're going to now label each grid space using letters. Go ahead and use the same measurement for the horizontal spacings. After you have created your horizontal spaces, you are now going to number them. Being that we'll be redrawing this picture to the same measurement, then therefore we are using what we call a one to one ratio. In order to recreate the picture here, we are going to now use the same measurement of one inch for each space of the grid. So we're going to do the top area Then the side areas with the same measurement Alright, now make sure that you have the same amount of grid space like what you have above. So above we have 4 grid spaces, so we have to try to recreate the same amount below. Now we are going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now that we are through with that part of it, we are going to connect the dots to create the horizontal spacing in the grid. In order to now create the vertical lines in the grid, whatever you did at the top earlier, you're going to repeat the same process. Now connect the dots. Top dot with dot below. A 
after you have joined the grid you are now going to label so a with a b with b c with c so a b c d e f and g g at the top and g below numbers Okay, now we're ready to redraw our picture. So we have to now make relation between each box. So box C1 here has a little curve and we're going to draw that in box C1 below. So whatever we see in box C1, that's what we'll draw in box C1. Now box B1 has a little curve. So we're gonna put that in as well. Box B2 has a circular section there. So we're going to put that in as well. Keep working and make sure you make relation between the boxes as you go along. Everything will become easy as long as you work box by box. So whatever you have at the top there you do the same thing below in the same box now here I'm working in box G2 so whatever I have in box G as the origin. 